what, what do we do to, or what do I do uh, to try to keep up with that? And, and I have some very simple recipes. It's not rocket science. A, I read a lot of newspapers. I spend a lot of time trying to understand uh, these things. Uh, you know, not only the economists, that is one thing, but you read a lot of things to try to keep up and listen to your people around. But most of all is that you don't um, follow what you learn in your financing class. At least that's my view. If you have an operationally highly leveraged business, that means when the top line goes down, you, you, you cross that break even point very quickly because you have a big asset. You need, you need some um, equity on the balance sheet and you need some cash. And you need to be spread and you hope that not every market goes the same way for geopolitical reason at the same time. So by having that equity ratio, in my case we have now 76% equity ratio and we operate almost with zero debt, which, which is maybe not so smart from your financing class because at the moment if you put the money in the bank, uh, you, you, they threaten you with negative interest. Nevertheless, we do it uh, and the reason is that when these things happen, we want to have the, 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 the firing power to act on it. When Spain crashed last time, we went in and kept every state's person and we worked through it. And when the crisis had uh, subsided and we came out on the other side, we have doubled our market share. Early in your career, try, I think, to work along the primary value chain. Stay off the strategic development on that. I, I, for example, spent two years as a side supervisor and project manager in South Africa when I was 26 years old. I did a lot of hunting also, I got married there. But I learned a lot from the front line. And for example, to be a salesman for a while. There's nothing that can help you more later in your career. It doesn't matter where you are. You need to get that top line. 